Welcome to 3 Minutes Fix, in this video, we will see how to install latest version of Do Movie Streaming app, let's get started. As a Do user, you can always directly update your script from admin panel, if you're new user, you can follow this guide with me. Right click the zip file and extract it to safe place. Now, open the admin panel and copy the location to the clipboard. Finally, go to cPanel and upload the admin panel code to it. While it's uploading, we will extract the Android source code. Copy source code's location and open the Android Studio. Currently, I am using Dolphin 2021.3 Android Studio version. I recommend you to use the same to avoid last minute update. Now, press open menu and paste the copied Android source code path. other hand, we will see if panel upload is finished. Now, refresh the page and extract the zip file. For new users, I request you not to move the files from install folder, this will break your installation. Now, copy the path and proceed the installation or go to the domain and put slash install in it. Remember, to use this script, your PHP version must be in 8.1, even it shows 8.1, check on your cPanel. If it shows 7.4 or less, change it to 8.1 and press change button. Next is to create a database and users. Previously, I would have shown to create database with manual linking of DB and username. Now, we have option called database manager. This will make our task simpler. Just follow my lead. Create new database and press next button. Now, create new username and generate password for your DB. Remember to copy your database password and paste it to your admin panel. Next, copy paste your DB and username data to admin panel. Now, link your DB and username with one click. Remember to put valid details here. Now, enter your purchase code that you got from Code Canyon Market. It will take several minutes depending on your internet speed and server speed. For me it's showing update, let me update it so it will be useful for others too. Our update is completed successfully, previously, we have license server issue, as per release log, it's fixed now.
First, we will connect panel with latest version of the app. Our app is ready, but some of us might face two main issues, I will cover them now. Number 1, CMake not found issue. Go to SDK Manager in the toolbar, and go to SDK Tools, here search for CMake, note that, if you don't see same screen, tick the Show Package Details checkbox below. Install 3.22.1 version, this version, I personally recommend you to use. Check in your build config if the version is changed correctly. Finally, press build menu and choose make project. Remember, some of us face empty CMake or CPP folder. To fix this just reopen or rebuild the project. Number 2. Some of us face a random build config missing issue. First go to build menu and press rebuild project. Mosty this will import the project. If not right click on build config text press import class and choose do project name, some cases, it will show your project name too, no harm you can choose it. Do the same process for your in app update.java file. For me, it's auto imported, for you if it shows red, do import class manually. Now, let's continue to app review. Developer has added few interesting features, we will test them one by one, firstly, it's safe mode, we can use this for multi-purpose, for example, we, we can use this feature to make your app in pre-release mode, where user can see your app in read-only mode, and there is also other uses of this feature which you can read from release log. Once you enabled it, to see the changes, you must restart the app by clearing app cache. Now, when user press the movie they can only read or watch the trailer, they want able to see the movies. Next feature is new stream source called torrent, now, inside do, you can play torrent video from magnet link directly, advantage of this feature is you no need to pay for file hosting, disadvantage is, it's torrent you will face slow loading issue. Previously, we have coupon issue, although coupon was redeemed successfully, output message was printed wrongly and made lots of confusions, now this issue got fixed. Let's quickly create a coupon from panel now. Now when you renew it, it should show successful message and restart the app, some cases, it will log out the user to reflect the changes. The UI of the coupon code has been changed to small size, I would say this look great and this is how coupon code should be there. Next changes is, app primary color can be controlled from the panel, you can change the color, that you want and press the update button. To see the changes, we must clear the app cache and then restart the app. Next feature is, region blockers, for testing purpose, I use United Kingdom as blocked country. Now, if users from United Kingdom open this app, they will see this region block pop-up. You can add as many countries you want to the list, and then press the update button. This feature help your user to get more eager for your app implement in their country. Finally they have improved little in search results, but still, some of movies, does not search very well, hope, this will get fixed soon, and that's all about the new feature of this latest version, hope, you have gained some information, by this video, thank you for watching.